Hey guys! In today's episode of our guide series, we will take a look at some of the most popular mistakes beginners make. The series will consist of several videos, and we hope they will help you learn a little more about the secrets of success. Let's begin! So the first mistake is to upgrade all hero skills indiscriminately. It is well known that gold is one of the most high-demand resources at almost all stages of the game. It is used for leveling up skills, crafting items, and later on, for other upgrades. So to learn how to spend it wisely and efficiently, scrutinize all skills of your heroes. Prioritize upgrading those skills that are level-dependent. For example, Kai's Feathers of the Wind, Orion's Antimatter Blast, Artemis's True Light, Faceless's Power Throw, and so on. The skills that increase damage are also important, but in most cases, dealing slightly less damage is not as bad as missing with a skill or a stun. Determine the priority of skills that you want to upgrade and stick to it. It will help you save valuable resources, but will still keep you competitive. The second mistake is similar to the first one, but this time it's about artifacts. Artifacts play a crucial role in the game. Your success in the battle and in Dominion as a whole will depend a big deal on how synergetic and well-upgraded your artifacts are. So before leveling them up, thoroughly examine which effects they give to your heroes. Early on, when you don't have many artifact resources yet, distribute them among different artifact types. For instance, upgrade an artifact weapon for your main tank, an artifact book for your damage dealer, and as for the artifact ring, Level it up evenly for all heroes. And of course, don't forget to send your heroes to expeditions and open the artifact chest to get as many resources as possible. Another tip, try to avoid using mages and physical heroes in the same team, since they won't take advantage of each other's artifact bonuses. Instead, assemble your team in such a way that your artifact bonuses are diverse. For example, for a physical damage-based team, it will be most effective to have armor penetration, critical hit chance, and physical attack bonuses available. Oh, by the way, if artifact weapons of several heroes give the same bonuses, the effects will stack. The next mistake is to sell hero soul stones without knowing for sure which teams you're going to level up. Believe us, a short-term profit from the earned gold is not worth it. Later on, you may actually regret selling hero soul stones, which are in fact much harder to get than gold. Many heroes unleash their potential at high levels, so it would be better to keep their soul stones in case you decide to change your team or if you discover new possibilities in other heroes. Another mistake is to use several tanks in one team. At the beginning of the game, each player gets two tanks, Galahad and Astaroth. At first, using them in the same team could seem quite a good idea, they're both rather durable and if one of them dies, the other will keep protecting the team from enemies. However, as you progress further in the game, you won't actually need to have several tanks in the same team. It would be more effective to take one tank, but a strong one, and to fill the rest of the team with heroes of different roles. It will make your team more balanced and, as a result, more effective. With that said, having several tanks at your disposal is, of course, not a mistake. On the contrary, it is a great advantage, which will provide you with more flexibility in selecting heroes, hence more chances for victory. And the last mistake for today. That's right, it's about the manual combat mode and the hotkeys. Playing in auto mode is no doubt convenient, but you shouldn't underestimate the power of the manual mode and its influence on the outcome of the battle. In the arena and grand arena you won't need this knowledge, but in other game modes we strongly suggest that you learn to manually use hero skills correctly. With the manual mode on, you can wait for the perfect moment to use a hero's first skill, choose which skill to copy with Faceless or which form to switch Celeste to, or maybe even not use hero skills at all and save them for a better moment. It will increase your opportunities and help you win where the manual mode would have lost. And yeah, we think the importance of hotkeys is worth mentioning too, since they also make your gameplay more comfortable and efficient. 
We've already covered this topic in a jokey manner. Follow the suggested video that popped up in the upper corner of the screen and learn how to become a true master of keyboard battle. And if for some reason you don't see the link to it, we will leave it in the description to this video on YouTube. That's all for today. We hope these simple tips will help you guys better understand the game and play Hero Wars wisely. Share this video with your friends and guildmates, give us a like if such information is useful for you, and if you don't want to miss new videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell. In the next episodes we will continue talking about common mistakes and revealing the secrets of success. And while we are preparing them, tell us in the comments which mistakes did you make in the beginning. Thanks for watching and see you in Dominion!